Cryptic last words from executed serial killers that will give you chills. Do you want to know what's inside a serial killer's mind? Serial killers have puzzling and mysterious minds. With that, several experts have tried to understand the way they think. Will we get a glimpse of their thoughts within their last words? In this video, we will feature different serial killers from various timelines and their last words. Do not watch this alone. Let's start with the first American serial killer, Herman Webster Mudgett, famously known as H.H. Holmes. Who would forget his infamous murder castle? The three-story building served as the chamber for his chilling crimes. Most of his victims were women who Holmes lured and seduced. He was a terrifying monster back in 1893. The actual number of his victims was ambiguous, but he confessed to have killed 27 victims during his arrest and impending execution. In 1896, Holmes was executed by hanging and his last words were, Take your time. Don't bungle it. Up next, you will hear the last words from German serial killer Peter Curtin. Curtin had shown disturbing actions back when he was a teen. He committed violent bestiality among their farm animals. When he turned into a man, he killed more than nine victims and believed he drank his victim's blood earning the nickname Vampire of Dusseldorf. When he was arrested, he even detailed all of his crimes, appearing to be remorseless. He was sentenced to execution by guillotine in 1931. The last words he uttered were, Tell me, after my head has been chopped off, will I still be able to hear, at least for a moment, the sound of my own blood gushing from the stump of my neck? That would be a pleasure to end all pleasures. Here's another serial killer nicknamed the Vampire. Fritz Harmon is a pedophile and serial killer who committed 27 murders of young men. He would brutally mutilate and bite his victims' necks. Thus, he was called Vampire of Hanuman, Wolfman, and Butcher of Hanuman. In 1924, he was found guilty of the murders and was sentenced to execution by guillotine. Before his execution in 1925, he requested having an expensive cigar and Brazilian coffee. His last words were, I repent, but I do not fear death. Now we're moving to the 1950s. Peter Manuel is the notorious serial killer of Scotland. He was nicknamed the Beast of Birkinshaw due to his gruesome crimes and branded as the worst serial killer in Scotland. He was convicted of seven murders but some believed he had committed more. Manuel even tried to appeal to the court about his trial. However, one of his notebooks was found. It contained his plans for the court and a sketch of him burying one of his victims. He was sentenced to death by hanging. His last words were remorseless. Turn up the radio and I'll go quietly. Lastly, let's talk about the infamous Jeffrey Dahmer. He is one of the scariest serial killers of all time. He committed the sickest crimes known to mankind. Thus, he was branded as the Milwaukee Monster. His crimes reigned from the late 70s to the 90s, targeting men. He was a convicted serial killer and sex offender for his 17 murdered victims. When he was arrested in 1991, he was subjected to 16 life sentences, but in 1994, he was brutally murdered by his fellow inmate, Christopher Scarver. Dahmer's last words were, I don't care if I live or die, go ahead and kill me. If you want to see the continuation of this video, click the following link for more interesting content.